Hello and welcome to the Axe, the show where we make an axe, all right? We've got some dice here. If you've never seen it before, these dice will determine the outcome of the video. So this dice here gives us our budget. We have to abide by that budget like it's life or death, okay? Then we have... No, what? I dropped that dice. Look at it. That's like a trick by itself. How the holy moly. Okay, perfect. But that's actually... Can you see that on camera or not? That is like a weird angle. It's quite cool. Okay. Anywho, this gives us our like acts we've got to create. So a stage act, table act, parlor act, whatever act it lands on, that's what we've got to make. And lastly, we have introduced this, which is a restriction dice. This will prohibit us from doing certain things or using certain things, like no coins, no cards, no talking, no Alakazam products. So that basically means no 100% commercial, easy to do tricks. Okay, but let's go for it. We'll roll the dice. Let's go. Three, two, one. 200 plus, no mentalism, mystery act. I like it. I like it. So, no mentalism. Let's do it. Let's go. So, straight away, um, what act should we do? I reckon let's do an impromptu feeling one. We ain't done that before, have we? Yeah? Okay. So, I know exactly what I'm going to. And I know you're going to say mentalism, but we're going to put a magic twist on it. <laughs> Maybe my favourite... Well, it's in my top three tricks of all time. Exactly. Okay, I'm sorry. This has to go in there. One of the best tricks ever. Okay? So, first of all, it essentially is... You get a spectator to think of any number between 1 and 100. You then reach inside your pocket of empty hands and pull out the exact amount of change that equals the number they just thought of. You can then show your pocket empty. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's mentalism. We're going to do it in a magic way. So, uh, the only magic twist I'm going to do, it's probably cheating, I'm going to get them to think of a number between 1 and 100, and imagine they've just been handed that amount of change, all right? And then, they're going to drop it in my pocket. That's what I'm going to do. So, I'm just going to hold it out of that. I'm going to say, you're, you're thinking of a number, right? Yeah, 65. All right, 65. Imagine 65p in your head, all right? You got it? You're then going to get it in your hand. Imagine you've got 65 pence in your hand, and I'll do this in my pocket, and I'll say, just imagine I'm throwing it into my pocket, and then I'll do that, and you'll hear the coins. And I go, check this out. Look, inside my pocket, there's a coins hold on to them and look my pocket's empty you can show your pocket and so i go count out the change in my hand 65p what i could end the act there that's bloody brilliant love it isn't it so exact change is one of my go-to favorite effects ever in history of ever magic ever it's so good okay so i came up with an idea which is either good or bad it could go either i'm way. gonna say it's probably gonna be good if it's coming from your little mouth ah uh, i go for it. so <clears throat> I thought about that. using this without a pocket was to take the thing yeah. and put it inside an egg bag. Oh. So what you could do is reach in, uh, have the bag there and say, I've got something in here. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then you can do the business. Yep. Make the thingy my bob disappear thanks to the egg bag. And then they can reach into the bag and take all of the change out themselves. Nice. And it's literally everything that's in there is that. And then you can turn the bag inside out, the same nice. as an egg bag. And nice. Good idea. It's just a different way of doing Good it. Good idea. Good idea. Give yourself a massive round of applause. Always coming up with the great ideas um, is Jamie. No, that is I'm editing it so I can put the uh, round of applause. Oh, yeah, on. you can. As well, can't you? <laughs> right, love that. Uh, next up, I think... Um, Obviously, we use English coins. Um, could go down the coin route. Do you know what I'm trying to think, though? Uh, that There was something that I just had in mind, which I think would be really good. Um, obviously, we're going for magic. Oh, it's got to be Leviosa. It's one of the best tricks ever. I don't even care if it doesn't flow that well. I just think it's one of the best tricks ever. I'm just putting together right now, if you've done this out and about, but this, honestly, I cannot recommend Leviosa enough. I swear to God, it is real magic. It's so good. You have to have that. You have to have that. Um, right. <clears throat> I would say... All right. We'll do this. <clears throat> no. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, right. Deck of cards. Sorry, but deck of cards. I know this is going away from impromptu, but I'm just absolutely loving this right now, okay? So just this is just an act. This is just an act that if you've done it out about, you'll get booked. It's a fact. That is a fact. If you want to, right? This is serious. If you want to take the jump, take the leap to go professional, I know there's obviously a lot more to it. Go to a restaurant, 
start doing that and you're sorted. Go to speak to the manager and you'll get residency. Because that is this is some of the best material that you can do. This is brilliant. Right. Multi wallet. So, so good. Now <clears throat> What I'm thinking here is, <clears throat> you've got to end with Leviosa. You cannot top that. I'm sorry. That is just like that. All right, proper smack on that one, guys. So we can start with this, see if you're in sync. Okay. So we say, uh, <clears throat> oh, guys, we're going to try something here. Um, we're just going to we're going to try something in your mind. So I want you to imagine, all right, you've just uh, paid some money to someone. You're going to get an amount of change back. All right, how many? How much change you're gonna get? It's from one to one hundred pennies. Uh, how much change you're gonna get back? Whatever number they say, you're covered with this. Okay, in English money, in American money, I believe in euros as well. You're covered with this. I think definitely American and UK money. Uh, exact change you get taught how to do it. Uh, so good. So uh, <clears throat> let's say they get seventy two p. Okay, picture seventy two p in your hand. All right, you can feel the coins in there. Right, really imagine you can feel the coins now. As I do this in my pocket, I say, imagine throwing the coins in there, 72p into my pocket. All right. I shake it. You can hear the coins rattle around. I reach inside. I take out the coins, place it in their hand. I say, don't count it just yet. But look, you can see there's nothing else in the pocket. Show your pocket empty. Now count the coins into my hand. Perfect. 72p on the dot. That is just brilliant. Coins go back into your pocket. Uh, you're sorted. So that's that done. Then you say, now, obviously, we're gonna, we've are gonna we got to do a card trick. All right? We've got to do a card trick. So uh, then go into a sort of basic ambitious card routine with this. Uh, get the card signed, jump to the top, then do a color change or something like that. Then do card in wallet. So this is really cool for card in wallet. The cool thing about this is that you can show the ID pouch. You can show that maybe you've got some money in there, like a £20 note or something like that. And then, obviously, you can snap your fingers and reopen it, and now the card will be in there. So beforehand, you can say, now... Um, if this trick goes wrong, you can get this, right? 20 quid on the line. Fair? Yeah, fair. 20 pound on the line. You show the 20 pound in that section. You say, right, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to find your card. It'll jump to the top, jump to the top, jump to the top. This time it doesn't jump to the top. Uh, and obviously you've loaded it in your wallet. And you say, right, now, uh, I did say the trick goes wrong. You can have that 20 quid. So let's have a look at it. Open it up. And now there's a playing card in there. Slide out the playing card. It's now their signed card. Now, when they're like looking at the signed card or when uh, obviously you take the wallet out, Put this away, bring out Leviosa. Okay, so Leviosa is now in play. Uh, then you say, no, I'll tell you what, let's try one last thing with your card. I'm going to try and find it without even touching the deck. All right, without even touching the cards. Let's go for it. So then uh, place it on there. The You do the haunted deck part of it. Again, full self-working. It's one of the best tricks you ever buy. Uh, cuts itself, finds that card. And you say, but let's just try one more thing, right? This doesn't always work, but let's give it a go. Right, do you honestly believe in magic? Yes or no, whatever they say. I'll go, right, let's try it here. Do you know Harry Potter when they say Leviosa makes stuff float? Let's give it a go. So say it, Leviosa gives you the perfect amount of time. Shake it. The deck floats up to your hand. You can give them their card as a souvenir. And that is just, look, let me get my diary out and take all the bookings now. Yeah, I'll take all the bookings now. That is one of the best acts. Honestly, that is just sublime, isn't it? I really actually want to film this act. I really want to film it. Maybe we could, because that is just, I think that is sublime. Yeah? Maybe we film this act, because I think that is insane. Yeah? Let's do it. Okay. Let's go for it. But anyway, guys, we'll film this act, uh, and then, yeah, I'll speak to you guys soon. But that is No Mentalism, 200 plus pounds, mystery act. I don't know what, I mean, this is just suitable for pretty much all, this is good for tables, this is good for uh, walk around. This is probably good even for, well, it's good for parlor. This pretty much covers loads of stuff. So it's so good. What an act. I'm so, I think this is my favorite act I've done yet. I can't lie. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. And uh, yeah, I'll try and get a video of me doing it because that is just, it's exciting. I've managed to pick out here, I know I'm rambling on, but I've managed to pick out here loads of stuff that fascinates me that I'm actually interested in. Like I would perform every single one of these routines and effects, uh, which is really cool. So guys, let me know what you choose in the comment section below. Uh, or if you want to grab this act and start performing it, let me know how you get on because I guarantee you will get booked. Cheers, guys. And I'll see you next time on Alakazam Magic UK, the act. Remember, like and subscribe. Hello. How are you doing? What's your name? Sorry. Jamie. Jamie, lovely to meet you, Jamie. My name's Harry. I'm here as a magician for this evening. So, Jamie, before we begin, I need to see if we are in sync, all right? Uh, so, do you drink coffee? You're a coffee drinker? I do, yeah. Lovely, okay. What's your favorite coffee shop? 
Starbucks. Starbucks, okay? I want you to imagine you've just walked into Starbucks, taking a big deep breath, you can smell all the lovely coffee, all right? What is your drink at Starbucks you go for? Uh, latte. A latte, nice. Okay, any fancy syrups or anything? No. No, just a plain old latte. Okay, lovely. Um, now, I want you to imagine you've just walked into Starbucks and you've just bought yourself a latte, but you've used cash to buy it, okay? So you haven't done contactless, you've paid in cash and you've been handed back a little handful of change or a little handful of coins. Now, uh, you've been handed back change under the amount of a pound. So between one and 100, how much change did you just get back from the cashier? 32p. 32p, okay, are you sure? Do you wanna change your mind? 34p. 34p, are you sure? Okay, mm -hmm. I want you to imagine I'm the cashier, I've just reached into the till, I've taken out a handful of change, place your hand up, and I've just handed you 34p. Now, imagine you can actually feel the coins there, okay? This won't work unless you truly imagine the coins are there, okay? You can really feel them in your hand, right? Feel the metals and everything, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to just throw them in the direction of my pocket, okay? Give them a little throw, perfect, all right? They all went in there, good shot, all right? Watch this, listen. Okay, the snap is the moment, right, that the imagination actually becomes reality. Now, it's so weird, okay, but check this out. Look, place your hand out for me. I'm going to place the change, close your hand around it, into your hand. Now, there's nothing left inside the pocket, very important to know, uh, but open your hand slowly. Now, you just imagine going into Starbucks, ordering a latte, and getting back some change, right? Check this out, look. 20, 5, that's 30. 32, which you originally went for, 33, 34p. How insane is that? You just thought of that, right? How crazy. Uh, place your hand up. That is for you, sir. There is your change. But you can keep the change or to see another magic trick, it costs, uh, let's go, 34p. All right, so do you want to see another trick or just keep the money? It's up to you. Wait. Okay. 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 Hey, thank you. You want to see another trick? Fine, let's go for it. Uh, so, here we are, we'll try something using these, all right, a deck of cards, obviously everyone knows what a deck of cards is, you've got uh, all different suits, colours, uh, high cards and low cards, and so you know they're in no order, we'll give them a proper mixy mixy. Now, do you want to select a card face up, so you know which card you're choosing, or do you want to keep it a mystery and choose one at complete random? Random, face random, down. Random, face down, okay, perfect. So, uh, reach in, take out a card for me, that one there, you sure? Okay, remember it, show the guys at home, and then place it back, okay? And we're gonna lose it somewhere in the deck, all right? So I'll give the cards a few cuts like this, and we will lose it. Now, it's important to know your card isn't on the bottom, of course, okay? And it's not on the top, which means, of course, it's somewhere in the middle, okay? Now, watch this. All we need to do is snap our fingers, and by doing the snap, actually is the moment the magic happens. Now, if I turn over the top card, that is your card, right? The nine of clubs. How mm -hmm. insane, it just jumps to the top, as if by magic. Now, we'll take your card, the Nine of Clubs, and we'll lose it somewhere in the deck for me, just like this. Now, we'll push it in all the way. And again, nothing happens until we snap our fingers. So the Ace of Hearts, obviously, is not your card. Jamie, you're going to do the honours this time. Snap your fingers over the deck. Okay, right, that was the worst snap, and you didn't believe, I could tell. Snap your fingers over the deck for me and say, Alakazam. Alakazam. There you go. And look at that. One card jumps to the top. Your nine of clubs. How crazy. Uh, Jamie, take a hold of the pen for me because sometimes when I do this trick, people think I've got more than one of their card, okay? I haven't. And so you know I haven't. There you go. Sign your name on the face. Uh, now, keep the card in shot the whole time, okay? Remember it, all right? And in actual fact, I don't want to go anywhere near it. So keep it face down, but lose it somewhere in the pack for me. So anywhere you want, lose it somewhere in there. And of course, this means the stakes of me getting it wrong are higher because you've been involved in it, right? My hands are out. You lost your card anywhere you wanted, okay? Obviously, I would get you to square these up and shuffle them, all right? But you are holding a camera, so I can give them a shuffle. Now, before we go any further, as soon as you paid to see this trick, I want to give you a, a chance to sort of win your money back. So if this trick goes wrong, I'll give you a chance to win 20 quid. How's that sound? Yeah? Okay. All yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, 20 quid on the line. Here we go. One snap. One card will jump to the top. Ooh, let me do a little flourish. Boop. <laughs> Get it up. Get it up. Get it up. Ace of spades. Uh, not your card, right? All right, one more guess. One more go. Uh, damn. Where is it? Where's your card? Okay. Well... It didn't go right, so uh, I'm a man of my word. You get the uh, 
stuff. Let's have a look here. Inside the wallet now, let's have a look. Wait, <gasps> your signed card. Get out of here. Let me grab that out. Check that out. How insane is that? Your signed card inside the wallet. That is mad. Now, I tell you what, that was all sort of sleight of hand, right? I want to try something that doesn't use sleight of hand. Let me come around there with you, all right? Watch this. The nine of clubs. We're going to take your card, and I'm going to try and find it without even touching the deck. How crazy is that, right? Watch this. You have to believe, all right? One, two, three. I'm imagining moving the cards exactly to one card your signed nine of clubs. How crazy is that? Now, do you believe in real magic? Harry Potter has this thing, Leviosa, where the deck rises. Jamie, point to the deck and say Leviosa. Leviosa. How crazy is that? Honestly, that is unbelievable. Jamie, that's for you to keep. I'm out of here. But yeah, if you want a business card, hey, hit me up. <laughs> unbelievable.